But it's going on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. 5,000 subscribers. I'm giving one of these cars away. So one of the cars that I buy in, I will be giving to one of you guys. You can either come down, spend the day. We can detail it, have a bromance, or I can just sell it on and transfer you about a thousand pounds into your bank. So it's definitely worth just hitting that sub button for that, let alone if you like the content. So the headline, the tagline, the title of the video, that's the word I'm looking for, probably reads 150 pound car worth 2000 pounds. And that's the truth. This car was part X from a finance company. So basically the finance company called me up and said, we've got a part X, valued it about this. Would you take it? And I just say, yes, do the paperwork. So I didn't see the car, I didn't drive the car know nothing about the car other than the reg obviously i could check it all i did was run the scrap value of the car because to me that's what was going to happen with the car so on closer inspection i don't think i can scrap this car let me show you why so they arrived to pick up their new car and this was just parked out the back and i got in it to move it to park it down the back so that i can book in to get it scrapped but then when i have a look can see that the tire tread on the car is really good so first that was the first thing i saw and then i saw that the brakes on the back have got the smallest of smallest lips and the front is the same so the tires and the brakes are good which is already a good indication to me it's not too bad then i thought okay i'll run the the reg on the mot history it's got mot until next may so okay so we've got mot till may we've got good tires we've got good brakes what else is going on in this car so i popped it open i can see that it's got the half lever it's a two liter diesel so okay so the high mileage is not too much of an issue plenty of space and then i find out Look at that, that's gonna be a joy to clean. That it's a seven seater. So again, seven seaters are in demand. How does this even fold back down? Okay, I need to work out how to fold it back down. So again, it's a nice clean car because that's all that I seem to buy. All the trim is really faded, but I reckon with a heat gun, we're gonna tidy that up. Normal brake dust on the front. It's a silver car, so scratches and things don't look too bad on it. So, just on that basal, basal, basic uh, assessment, it's a seven-seater. It's got MOT till next May. Tires and brakes are all good. So, okay, let's dive into it more. Let's have a, a deeper look at the car. Still got the clear. S5 is absolutely broken. That's going to Phoenix next week. So I jump into the car as you would when you buy a car. Fired straight up. Okay. See what warning lights we get. Turn the radio off. So that door's still open. So I get no warning lights. And then I can see that the mileage is only 141,500. Okay, so it's got 10,000 miles less, basically. It's got no warning lights. Then I see that it's got the um, cruise control. It's got the aux. It's got the air conditioning. And the air conditioning blows cold. So at this point, I'm thinking, this car can't be bad. It, it can't just go to the scrapyard. So I take it for a drive around the block. Drives nice. Pulls nice. This has got to be worth a little bit of money. It's got the auto lights and everything. I think we have to try and see what this car's worth. So I run it on the auto trader software to tell you what it's worth. And it's worth £2,250. Okay. This is not bad at all. I don't understand why it's been valued so low, what the issue is. It doesn't have service history. That's one big high mileage car, no history. So it's not worth two grand, but I think we could definitely sell this for a grand, definitely. So let's get to work. Let's tidy this up and let's see if we can make a thousand pound 
out of a 150 pound car so we're up at the unit so time for a really nice wash i'm not going to be polishing this car because i just don't see the point of polishing a silver car it'll get a bit of wax and that's going to be job done on this one so nice wash check all the levels and get it back down to start on that interior seven seater obviously it's going to take time to clean that and there's quite a lot of sand in the boot so let's get this quickly washed and then let's crack on with the actual graft which is going to be the interior picture we took many years ago when i said to you we would never grow messages i've saved that i never sent because i don't know you but i used to back then i remember that i was drunk out my mind when we kissed for the first time in the back of your car we passed out counting stars promised all these years we back our things To all this time So before we start on the interior, magic sponge, I just started with a little bit of heat to see how the plastics will come up. So let's whack all of that out. It's going to look a lot cleaner. It's not perfect, but that with a bit of tie gel on it, it's going to look better than faded grey. Let's crack on. got that done all the way around it looks better it doesn't look a hundred percent but it definitely looks blacker and cleaner so that's that let's start on the inside getting everything done
well, I look tired. So, we're about six and a half hours into this one. And yeah, interior's done, right? That's, that's the hard part, and on a 7C, it just took forever, but everything's nice and clean. Everything's very presentable. And yeah, we saved another car that was going to the scrapyard that definitely now will have a new lease of life. It's looking amazing, to be honest. I'm really, really chuffed. I really like this car. And for £150, it's incredible value for money. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it for that, but you know. You know, you know. So everything's been cleaned. So, I'm happy with that. Center seater. Definitely the retail value on this is two, three, two, four. So, I mean, some people say that I clean it too much for this sort of money, but standards you know it doesn't matter if i'm cleaning a 500 pound car or a 1500 pound car or a 15,000 pound car everything gets the same level of care the same level of detail pride in what we do so i'm not going to polish the car obviously silver is a really good color for hiding scratches and it looks pretty good the trims look okay i mean i'm going to put some more back to black on them but I think it will be all right so now it's just a little few little details that i want to tidy up just to make it look a little bit clip excuse me a bit cleaner so that looks awful and we could probably polish these up a little bit as well and give that back end a little bit of a tidy up and that's gonna be it seven hours job done let's crack on with these last bits Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before And now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I So there we go guys, another car saved from the scrap man. Sorry mate, not today. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think I can get 1500 for it. All day long I reckon I can get 1500 for it. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, thanks for watching if you got this far. I'll see you in the next one. I'm about to try and sell this car.